Only on News 6 tonight, the Osceola County Sheriff says he has fulfilled his promise to have Spanish speakers answer the phones in his 911 dispatch center. He's now hired two of them full time to serve his Spanish only citizens in a growing county where the majority of citizens are Hispanic. News 6's Eric Von Anken spoke with one of those new dispatchers to see why it's such a critical need and how they are feeling it getting results together. So that's actually going to be with Orange County. Maria Bejarano, the newest 911 dispatcher at the Osceola County Sheriff's Office. And you said law enforcement wasn't there. It's often the difference between life and death. El otro vehículo todavía está ahí. And this skill. ¿Y qué está pasando ahí? Her ability to take calls also in Spanish. Quedes en la línea conmigo, okay? Means she can answer the call of the most desperate. I mean, I have had a couple of calls where it's just open lines and I just hear Spanish speaking and I hear arguing, you know, to anybody maybe that doesn't know the language, they just think, oh, they're just having a conversation, but I actually can understand, you know, what's going on and... What is typically going on? Um, typically domestic um, violence or arguments. Bejarano is the first full-time Spanish speaker in the dispatch center. ¿En qué tipo de vehículo andan ellos? Bilingual deputies fill in on the other shifts, so there is now a Spanish speaker here around the clock. You uh, have one full-time? One full-time per shift we try. But you could, you could use what? Five we can use more? five, six, yes. Osceola County Sheriff Marcos Lopez tells me when the tourist population here swells, he's serving as many as half a million people. And when they need help, more are calling in Spanish. I created a position called the call taker slash translator. The sheriff used to rely on a language bank, an interpretation service, but that took time to get a translator on the line. Senor? Sometimes too much time. By the time the interpreter comes on the line, maybe the line will disconnect. Maria alone handles around 22 calls per day just in Spanish. Not anybody can just come up here and do this job. The sheriff says he's trying to hire more Spanish speakers, but he's struggling to find people just to pick up the phone. How many dispatchers, sheriff, do you need ideally? I think like right now to be, well, our shortage right now is about 25. You're short 25, 25 yes. 911 yes. dispatchers? Yes. And you're making it up by uh, yes. pulling in full-time deputies? Yes. What are you cutting yourself with? Not an ideal situation, obviously, the sheriff says, when seconds. Okay, tiene algún número de apartamento? And words matter. Yes. If you guys don't understand, if you don't speak the language. Someone can die. Someone can die. And the sheriff also tells me he'd like to hire more Creole speakers here. He has one full time in the dispatch center, but he says that's not enough to take care of the growing Haitian community here. He tells me his German, Arabic, Portuguese and French speaking dispatchers here. They all come in very handy because of the busy tourist district here in Osceola County. At the sheriff's office, Eric Von Aken getting results together. There's six.